Turn around, turn around. Watch out. Look at you, look at you. Oh, I see your little legs going there. Let me give you some support. No matter where the Brave Wilderness team and I have traveled, we are always on the lookout for turtles. In fact, I have caught or worked with a turtle in every location we have visited aside from Alaska. And that's only because there are no turtles in Alaska. South Africa is not exactly the environment where you would expect to find aquatic turtle species. And while they do have a few, it's the land-dwelling tortoises that are far more plentiful. Turn around, turn around. Did you really see a tortoise? Side of the road. Yeah. Huh. yeah. I just randomly filmed in a driving b-roll shot. You saw a tortoise? What kind? Yeah, man, um, I think it might be a little leopard tortoise. It's right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay, well, how about that for getting a b-roll shot and we have seen a little tiny leopard tortoise. Look at you. Watch out. Look at you, look at you. Buddy. This little guy's way too close to the road. It's a leopard tortoise either just crossed or is attempting to cross. Let me set this camera right down there for you. I see you, I see you. I wanna be very, very gentle picking him up because I do not want him to pee, which is a defensive mechanism of these tortoises. There we go. Look at you. Oh, he's very warm. Out here soaking up heat from the side of the road and also the sun. There's cars zinging by. It's a very dangerous place for a tortoise. Where do they get the name leopard tortoise? Just look at the design of the carapace. Looks just like the fur of a leopard. Now this is the, actually believe it or not, the largest tortoise species here in South Africa. This one is considered tiny. They can weigh as much as 80 pounds. These are giants. Look at that domed carapace. Oh, I know, you're scared, buddy. Little stumpy legs and a very cute face if it decides to show us its face. That's so cool. Our first official tortoise of the trip. Wow. Actually, pretty heavy. It's a very, very dense animal. They get all of their moisture from the food that they eat. And they're out here feasting on, oh, you gonna come out for us? He's thinking about it. They eat grasses leaves, succulents, and occasionally will even take insects and other small little animals if the opportunity presents itself. And actually, leopard tortoises love to eat hyena poop. That hyena poop is high in calcium, which helps keeps these tortoises' shells and their platelets strong. You notice when it tucks into its shell, it has armored front legs, you see that? All of these legs are covered with very dense scales and that keeps it protected. Now they don't have many predators, but a tortoise of this size could be eaten by something like a hyena. Their jaws are strong enough to crush through the shell, but once this turtle reaches its adult stage, the only threat that it has is humans. And this roadway is a perfect example. Many tortoises are unfortunately struck by cars, and while they are rather speedy for a species, not faster than a car. So what we're gonna do is just safely move this little tortoise off into the underbrush here in the exact same direction that it was traveling and hopefully in the future it will avoid crossing roadways. There you go, now you're coming out of your shell for us. How cute are you? That is so cool. Here's one thing I love about the leopard tortoise. Look at these sharp keels at the back and you'll notice how it branches down over those hind legs. Just another defense mechanism against any potential predator. They have an unhinged shell. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, it kind of looks like a box turtle. Let me tip it up for you there. You see the plastron, not hinged at all, but slightly curves up, which allows for the legs to perfectly tuck in, covered in dense scales, and they pull those legs in to block the face, just like that, you see that? Now nothing can get to it. Even me sticking my hand in there, what he doesn't want to do is try to bite. If you bite something, then your head gets extended out and you stand the chance of being eaten. So it's all about tucking into your shell. As we know, turtles and tortoises throughout the course of their life grow with the shell. Sometimes people think, well, do turtles hop from shell to shell? No, they do not. 
But other than the gopher tortoise and the Galapagos tortoise, this is only the third tortoise species that we have featured on the Brave Wilderness channel. And as we learned from the Galapagos tortoise episode, technically all tortoises are turtles. Oh, I see your little legs going there. Let me give you some support. Woo, that car was going fast. I'll get your heart racing. Made me nervous. What are we doing out here, bud? Little tortoise, you know that it's not safe to cross the road, right? Well, how about that? No matter what location we visit, I always manage to get a turtle in front of the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, buddy. Here you go. Over into the underbrush. The leopard tortoise is one of South Africa's most iconic reptiles. Yet their existence is constantly a threat due to the presence of man-made structures such as roads. Sadly, many of these beautiful animals lose their lives to car strike every year. And it's not just the roads in South Africa, but roadway systems around the world. If you see one of our hard-shelled friends crossing the road and choose to be a good turtle Samaritan by helping it quickly cross, your kindness may ensure that a teeny tiny turtle grows up to be a wise old elder of the reptile kingdom. If you want to learn more about helping turtles cross the road, make sure to go back and watch the episode of Dragon Tales where I show you the safe way to move a snapping turtle without losing your fingers. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location. Uh, say you look this way and you see a swamp or a pond or a lake and you think to yourself, well, there's water over there. Shouldn't I put the turtle back in the water? The turtle knows exactly what it's doing. It has made the decision to go this way because it's likely a female headed to lay her eggs.